Jim Sammartino, and this is Life Happens 2011. Welcome to week number two. I have some great reports to give you from our week number one results. With our 24 people participating, we've lost a total of 78 pounds in our very first week. That's an average of three pounds per person. Talk about some motivation to give you that extra little push to continue through the very difficult week number two. In this week's segment, we're going to be talking about everyone's motivation and what they find most difficult, and how Tiger Shulman's mixed martial arts will watch on, and their cardio, fitness, and flexibility programs, coupled with the nutrition programs from In Motion Meals, will take everyone's fitness to the next level. Enjoy the upcoming clips. Oh yeah, it's a great class. Absolutely, man. I mean, 800 calories every single class, and you took three of them today, right? Three in a row. That's fantastic. Yeah. So, what's your motivation right now? Why are you training so much right now? Well, I used to weigh about 370 pounds, and I used to eat all the junk food all the time. So, I'm really trying to find a really good way to lose more weight. Mm -hmm. I've gotten to about 270, 275, and I'm trying to get to about 220. And that's a really good goal. Congratulations on losing 100 pounds already. Thanks. So, what was the most difficult thing that you did then, and what are you trying to do now to overcome what you, the troubles you had before? In my entire life, eating the right foods and maintaining exercise and keeping myself motivated has always been extremely difficult. Mm -hmm. Coming to class gives me a really good reason to continue to exercise all the time. Once you're here, I try my best. Mm -hmm. In regard to diet, I found a great way to keep myself accountable for all the foods I eat. Mm -hmm. Food journal. Writing all the foods down, one after the other, makes me remember what I've eaten so that when I write it down, I know that I've already eaten it and I don't want to keep writing things down all day because then I know I've engorged myself. Right. So if I if I eat one thing, I put it down, I don't want to keep doing it. So what's your favorite thing to eat right now? What, what kind of meal plans are you using? Right now I found a really great way because I'm always on the go, I work all the time and, and, and living on the go and being in motion is a great way. There's a great meal plan called the In Motion Meals mm -hmm. right now that I've been trying and uh, they, they taste great and all of the, the materials that they're made out of are right on the package and you know that the integrity of them are great. Yeah, and I'm personally using it myself as well. I know that they're flash frozen and it, oh, yeah. it really is a great, nutritious, healthy way to do it. So you're eating the In Motion Meals, you're working out here in a class in that group environment to make sure you're staying motivated. Yeah. That's a great start. So I think you're you're going to be able to meet your goal, and you know, as a class, we're going to make sure that you get there. Awesome. Again, to finish up uh, the week number two segment, and wanted to welcome my wife Kristen uh, for her comments on how she's doing in the 60-day challenge. So I know this isn't your first 60-day challenge that you've been a part of. Why do you continue those 60-day challenges? Well, especially this time around. It's right after the holidays. I ate a lot of junk food. Just feeling um, that I didn't have as much energy, so I wanted to tone my body up, get rid of some of the weight that I gained over the holidays, and I wanted to um, eat healthier and live a healthier lifestyle. Yeah, and that does happen to all of us, where after the holidays, they're so difficult, there's so much food and stress in family, where we do tend to pack on more pounds, and it's very hard to work them off. So I know that one of the things that we've done to help that is to go on to the In Motion meal plan. Now, what is your feeling about the In Motion meal plan? The food is great. There's so many different choices. Um, I can have a chicken one night, um, a fish the other night. Um, there's so many things to choose from. It's convenient. They deliver the food right to your door. Um, I can pop it right in the microwave so I don't have to rush to try to cook something before class. Yeah, and I know the one thing that's helped out us a lot is the fact that we actually save money because now when we're using these meals, we're no longer wasting anything on the extras that we had left right. over that we just threw out. Right. So not only is it convenient, it's also a good cost savings and we don't waste as much food. Right. So um, now one last question before I let you go. I know that sometimes when you first start out, it's really, really difficult. How do you feel now completing week two? How do you feel with your progress so far? Well, week two is definitely the hardest week because um, you're changing the way you eat, you're exercising more, um, your body's not used to um, eating the smaller frequent meals, and um, definitely starting to get more energy now. It was rough in the beginning. So for the viewing audience at home, you'd say that if they can stick through the first two weeks, the most difficult weeks, that then they really start seeing the results and then they get onto that trend where they can see a much better, happier lifestyle and they can see the light at the end of the tunnel, that it's not going to be a diet, temporary, it's going to be a life-changing event. Right. So
until we've completed week number two, I hope you enjoyed the segments for this week, and I hope that you view in for next week to see the progress that we've been able to make each and every week as our students continue our nutrition plans through in-motion meals and our fitness plans through Tiger Shulman's Mixed Martial Arts at Watch Home. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me at lifehappens11 at gmail.com. And until next week, what's in motion for your motivation?